Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a really exciting one because I am going to be sharing with you all my amazing trip to Barcelona that I went on at the end of March with my best friend Cass. We explored the city together and found some delicious food spaces and not to mention some amazing bookshops which of course I'll be sharing with you in just a little while in this vlog. Unfortunately the weather wasn't the best, it was a bit cloudy and wet and rainy but the little peaks of sunshine we got really did make our day and just brightened up the skies of Barcelona. The first place we visited was Arc de Triomphe, that might be the wrong pronunciation, but it was a great place to visit with lots of street performers, my favourite being this one because I do love sausage dogs, even if it did scare this poor puppy away, it was really hilarious to watch. And next we visited such a beautiful little art shop. It had so many amazing prints and fun things to buy. And unfortunately, I didn't bring enough luggage to fit all of the things I would have wanted to buy from this shop. But it was still fun to have a look. This bookshop was definitely on my bucket list when planning Barcelona. It is called Libreria Feinstress, I think that's the right pronunciation. And it was just one of the most beautiful bookshops I have ever seen. There were floor to ceiling bookshelves and such a huge variety of books, both in English and Spanish. One thing I did notice while shopping in Barcelona was that their books did end up being a little bit on the pricey side, averaging at about 14 euros per book, which is about 12 pounds per book. But I was really impressed with the variety of books they had, and they did have a lot of popular bestsellers as well, which made it really fun to browse. absolute favourite part about this bookshop was that they actively encouraged you to sit down, get a book and get comfortable to read. I have to mention it again, I was so impressed with the variety of books they had. I loved browsing the fantasy and sci-fi bookshelf, but I was really impressed with the diverse book ranges they had. This book is actually in theatres right now in London about black boys who have considered committing suicide. So I was really intrigued to see that there was a version about black girls as well. On a sunnier day, I would have loved to sit out here with a nice drink and read one of their books. On this day we visited Moko Museum and it had amazing artwork, my favourite being this painting called The Last Supper, all about what Jesus' disciples would look like in this day and age. Mm -hmm. 
Next, we visited Sagrada Familia, the world's largest unfinished church. We couldn't go inside that day, but we did get great views from a rooftop. We had a lot of amazing food in Barcelona, but one of our favourites was definitely this ramen restaurant. This train bar was a blast. Good morning everyone, I just realised I've not actually spoken to you at all in this video, except from a few voiceovers at the beginning. So I'm just putting this clip in to say hi and I hope you've been enjoying the Barcelona vlog. It's been such a fun trip, it's actually our last day today so we are flying back to London this evening um, but we've got a few more plans today, we're going to go and get some ramen again, we went to this amazing ramen place so we're going back again and hopefully to another bookstore as well i've been really impressed with the books stores in barcelona they've been so diverse and like such a variety that i was yeah blown away and they are also just so pretty um i think i might have mentioned it in the beginning of the video or during some voiceovers but i am going to be trying to do a little series on this channel where i go to a different city every month and look at their bookstores Hopefully that happens, but this month is Barcelona and next month might be somewhere more local in England or the UK. But either way, it's just been really nice to look at other bookstores and what they have and their prices and the books and their collections. It's actually been a bit expensive in Barcelona, I think. It's been about 14 euros for a book. So I'm intrigued to see if this next bookshop we go to is similar or cheaper or more expensive. I don't actually think I'm going to be able to buy any books on this trip just because we flew with Ryanair and they are so so strict now with their like amount of luggage you can bring and we were being super cheap and thinking we're not going to pay extra money for extra luggage we're going to just go with the free bag which is just a backpack and I, <laughs> I have regrets because I can't buy anything now to bring back because I can't fit everything into my backpack so it's going to be a bit interesting today going back hopefully nothing crazy happens but i might be able to buy one book if something really catches my eye but that's probably about it i did bring a book with me to read on the journey so i am currently reading is it good girl gone bad i think it's the second book in the a good girl's guide to murder series and yeah i'm enjoying it it's i'm only a few chapters in maybe like chapter 10 or something so i've got a way to go hopefully i will get a nice vent into it this evening and yeah just listen to it on audiobook i downloaded it on audible with my free credits that i've got so i can be a bit more relaxed on the plane if i don't want to really read but i want to listen to the book i can do that so i'm looking forward to finding out if this book will be as good as a good guy to murder i feel like it's going to be quite hard to beat that sort of feeling of reading a good girl's guide to murder for the first time because that was such a fun experience but they've still got the mixed media they've still got the interviews and stuff so it might be similar i'm not sure i'll probably update you guys in my next video when i do my what month are we in march wrap up um but yeah i just thought i'd pop in and say hi i hope you've been enjoying this video it's been really, really fun to film and even though it's been quite a rainy cloudy cold-ish time in Barcelona we've still made the most of our trip and yeah I've actually had such a good time I've been to Barcelona before and I did not enjoy it at all so it's been so nice coming back again with my friend and actually getting to enjoy it despite the weather and everything so yeah we are actually just about to head out I am just in our courtyard as you can see which is quite cute Unfortunately, it's been a bit too wet and rainy to sit out here, but it is nice to have this outdoor space, kind of check the weather before you go out. And yeah, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next clips, hopefully in that new bookstore that I saw. <laughs> Yo, 
your book's gonna be here soon. I'm reading this one. Oh, is this another sequel? Yeah, it's the last one. It's this, this, this. I've got this book at home. Have you read this? I've got it. I've not read it yet. It's ice hockey. Yeah. Amazing. That's so cool. Wow. I have just found the True Love Experiment by Christina Lauren. I've got this book, but they have got a different colour here. A different cover. I quite, I quite like it actually. We actually stumbled across this bookshop accidentally. It is called A Libri Libraria and we absolutely loved it. It had so many amazing sprayed edges books, special editions and just such a huge variety of books in English as well. We are currently walking to the last bookshop of this trip. I just showed you a surprise one that wasn't on my list to go and visit but they really surprised me they had a lot of books um that were in english as well and i think they were interviewing an author or something on in the shop so it's really cool also quite a few special editions so i feel like i need to find more bookshops like that in london i never find special edition books in london bookshops so maybe i'm looking in the wrong places but we are on our way to the next bookshop. This one is a little bit more aesthetic. So that's probably why it's quite popular and recommended. So let's see if it lives up to having as good quality books as the ones that I just saw. This bookshop is actually opposite the first bookshop that I showed you but we didn't have time to visit it that day so we came back and it's actually called the same name so Libreria Weinstress. It was a really different kind of vibe in here which was really fun. It had very unique books and I loved browsing through all of the pages. We of course had to come back and visit one of our favourite food spots one last time before we call our flight back to London. We had so much fun in Barcelona, thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video and I hopefully will see you in the next one.